Number 7. A person pushes horizontally with a force of 220 newtons on a 55 kg crate to move it across a level floor. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the floor is 0 0.35. What is the magnitude of letter A, the frictional force, and letter B, the acceleration of the crate? So let's make some drawing so we can understand what's happening. So this is the floor. This is the crate. And we are pushing the crate horizontally. So let's say this is the force that the person is pushing the crate, which is equal to 220 newtons. We also have the gravitational force pulling downwards. We have the normal force pulling upwards. And we have the frictional force in the opposite direction of this first force over there. So in this problem, we already know that the crate is moving, so it's easier to calculate the frictional force, because if the object is moving, the frictional force is equal to the mu kinetic, the, kinect the coefficient of kinetic friction, times the normal force. So that's the only thing that we have to do to calculate the frictional force in this problem over here. It's pretty easy. So we already know the coefficient of kinetic friction, but we don't know the normal force. But we can apply Newton's second law to find the, the, the normal force, and it's easy. So let's remember Newton's second law says that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times the acceleration. So we are going to apply this law to the y direction. So let's suppose that y increases upwards. So in the y direction, we only have the normal force and the gravitational force. And this is equal to mass times the acceleration in the y direction. So since the, the, the crate is not flying or entering the earth, entering the floor, we know that the acceleration is zero. So we can isolate the normal force. So the normal force is equal to the gravitational force. And we know that the gravitational force is equal to mass times the acceleration of gravity. Okay, so we can solve this equation now. So the frictional force is going to be equal to mu k times m times g. So if we just replace the letter by the numbers, we are going to have 0 0.35 times 55 times 9.8. And this gives us roughly 1.9 times 10 to the second Newtons. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we have to apply Newton's second law to the x axis. Okay, so let's suppose that the x increases to the right as well. So in the horizontal direction, we have two forces. We have F minus the frictional force, and this is equal to mass times acceleration in the x direction. And this is not zero anymore because the block is moving. Okay, so we want to find the acceleration in the x direction. So let's just send mass to the other side. So this is going to be F minus friction over mass. So this is equal to 220 minus 100 and 88.65 over 55 and this gives us roughly 0 0.57 meters per second squared so this is the answer of letter b and this is the answer of letter a if you want a more uh, more precise value you could use this value over here right and that's it